Hi, my name is Joseph Kerk and today we're gonna talk about Isotope RX. We're gonna talk about Dialog D Reverb. You can use it whenever it's a crappy audio that you can use for dialogue scenes, for instruments. If you record it in a space that it has a lot of echo, this is a fantastic tool to use. So let's go. So here's the front page, the main page, when you open uh, Isotope. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import a file. You come to File, Open. Then I select your file. I'm going to choose this one. And now I'm going to choose... I just choose this this file because it's. Uh, I was recording this this week, this dialogue scene with some kids. It, they were having uh, acting classes. I think this is the perfect example so you can use this tool because it has a lot of echo. So I want to... Um, I want to reduce a bit. Let's just hear some portion of this audio. Why? What's happening to you? What's wrong? What you want? Nothing. Nothing. It's just sometimes you seem like you're... Okay. So as you can see, it has a lot of echo. So I want to reduce that. I don't want completely to remove it because it's the space, the ambience. So I don't need to really remove, remove it all. But we're just gone, going to select the tool. Dialog the reverb. This tool to select. Okay, and I just you usually the settings I put a uh, reduction about minus eight, sensitivity about um, the middle. I don't need to be very drastic on the tool, and ambience I put it zero. The best separation algorithm is advanced joint channel. Is the best one, but it takes a little bit of time to process. For me, I try always to go to, for the best one. Okay, so I make render, and that's it. Let's take a, a listen. Why? What's happening to you? What's wrong? What you want? Nothing, nothing. It's just sometimes you seem like you're... There we go, much better. As you can see, just with minus eight uh, reduction, it makes a lot of difference. That's it. Uh, this was a quick tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, if you want to, if you have any question, please just comment down below. I'll be answering all of your questions. And thank you. Hope you see you next time.